Yes, well, this morning, law enforcement spent several hours combing through this neighborhood here, searching for a man they say carjacked an APS employee. They have now identified that man as 23-year-old Anthony Sierra, who they say drove that APS truck into a water retention area over this way and eventually drove right into this canal right behind me. And you can actually still see the tire marks he left behind and those tire marks are also the same area where a tow truck removed that car earlier today. A good deed quickly going south Wednesday morning after an APS worker stopped to help a man near Loop 101 at Thomas Road. An APS service driver trying to be a good Samaritan stopped to help the suspect. Suspect is armed, pulls out a gun, takes the APS service driver's vehicle at gunpoint and takes off. DPS believes the suspect lives nearby Lower Buckeye Road in 99th Avenue, but ended up inside a stranger's home where a family of four lives. The couple and their two uh, young children are in the house at the time. The suspect enters. He has a gun. Uh, we are thankful that uh, the father in this case was able to talk this suspect into leaving his residence. Rosie Rivero lives next door to the home. She believes the suspect may have entered. My mom had just came out and she saw the suspect running over there. She says her family just added cameras last week. One neighbor provided this video of the SWAT team moving through the neighborhood. You can see the suspect running across over there. You can barely see it, but you can see the suspect running over there. There's a camera that we have in the backyard, so you can barely, very, very like, yeah, you can see him running across the. But after leaving, DPS says he continued to climb into people's backyards, then, ending uh, up in this man's backyard, McDonald's. where officers took the suspect into custody in handcuffs. Came in, sat down, was watching the story, and then I just seen somebody in the backyard, and I was like, you know, explicit. <laughs> and uh, then I seen, all, you know, the SWAT, and everybody in there and you know and just they took him down he went to the side of the house and they took him down on that side of the house neighbors say they're shaken up knowing the suspect made it into their Tolleson neighborhood it's literally in my backyard mm -hmm. and so I knew I knew who it was because I mean there's no reason some random guy's gonna be running through my you know with his with his hands on his head mm -hmm. talking about you know don't kill me don't kill me and DPS says Sierra is now facing several charges those include theft and burglary. Now, uh, APS also sent us a statement saying that their top concern is that employee and providing support during this time. Uh, we also are still working to figure out what exactly led up to this whole situation. Of course, as soon as we get more information, we'll bring that to you. Reporting live here in Tolson, Alexis Dominguez for Arizona's Family.